Hello and welcome to my first vacuum tube experiments video. This is my first uh, video in which I'm talking about vacuum tubes. A vacuum tube is a device like a transistor which is for amplifying audio signals but it looks like this, it, is, it, it, it looks like a bit um, like a light bulb and it is an old device for amplifying audio signals. This is the symbol uh, of a vacuum tube. It has a anode, a grid and a cathode and these two heating things. Uh, here you must connect the voltage for heating this thing. Uh, it needs to get hot. Uh, with this um, here you must connect about 6 volts or about 9 volts, whatever. You have to read it uh, on the data sheet of your vacuum tube. You have the cathode, the grid and the anode. The end node uh, is, uh, for example, the plus of the vacuum tube here. You can connect the plus of your voltage. The grid is the controlling uh, connector, which is for controlling the voltage that is coming in here. And the cathode is the minus. So if you uh, uh, think of it like a transistor, this is the base, this is the collector, and this is the emitter. And it works um, like a juncture fed transistor, I think. Most like a juncture fed transistor. And now I've built a really easy setup uh, here for testing out this vacuum tube. Here I have another vacuum tube connected. I, am, I have used this uh, crocodile clips here to connect it. And uh, the circuit that I've built here is this here. Um, the vacuum tube is connected to plus 10 volts. And uh, here on the cathode there is a 33K uh, resistor. And here I am also connecting my multimeter, which is this here. Okay, uh, now let's take a short look um, of the power supply. Uh, here I have, I'm using two power supplies in my experiment now. Uh, the, fir the upper one is for the heating voltage and it is supplying 9 volts. And the, another power supply uh, is for the anode voltage, you can see here. And uh, how to get the uh, connections of the vacuum tube, which pin is uh, which connector. This is really easy if you are going to the internet and searching for the data sheet of the vacuum tube. You can see here, here I found the data sheet of my vacuum tube. And here you can see the connections of your vacuum tube. There are also another useful uh, information in the data sheet. For example... Um, the heating voltage you can see here which is uh, it's needing never uh, put a uh, too high vo need heating voltage into your vacuum tube because then it is damaged okay now uh, let's switch on the power supplies for my vacuum tube um, at first I switch on the heating power supply and then I switch on the anode power supply good now it is switched on and Yes, now let's take a closer look to my circuit here. As you can see the vacuum tube is uh, a bit uh, glowing, you can see maybe you can see it. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it is glowing. You can see here, yes you can see that it glows. And uh, now what can I do now with this? Uh, here, this is the grid of the vacuum tube. Here I have the ground and here I have the plus 10 volts. If I am connecting the grid of the vacuum tube to ground, like this, then, um, yes, then it goes up to um, about 1 volt. This is because uh, electrons can flow through the vacuum tube and yes, a current can flow and the vacuum tube goes to high. Uh, if I'm disconnecting it, it goes uh, down nearly to zero. If I'm connecting it to a plus voltage, you can see here, it goes up to the uh, supply voltage, um, about the supply voltage. The supply voltage is 10 volt and you can see here it goes up to 9 volt, 9 volts. But in the audio amplifier it is uh, uh, used uh, with negative signals most of the time. Uh, and now you can see it, it has really high uh, amplification you can see here if I take one hand and my second hand it goes up to one volts. There's no change between this 
and this it goes up to one volt so you can see it has a really high amplification this tube um, if I take uh, a voltor or uh, if I take voltor and put these two connectors into voltor it also goes to high because it has a really high amplification voltor So this is uh, how the vacuum tube works with DC and uh, with AC you can amplify audio signals with this vacuum tube and uh, I'm showing you how to amplify audio signals now. So uh, welcome to the second part of my uh, tube video. Uh, in this part I'm showing you now how to uh, make an audio amplifier with this tube. So. I built this really easy circuit. Um, the tube is really similar to a junction fed, so you can t use this circuit, which is also really similar to an amplifying uh, an audio amplifying circuit for a junction fed. Um, so now let's start with the parts. Um, this is the decoupling capacitor. This is for decoupling the DC offset voltage. Um, this is also a decoupling capacitor. This resistor here is for the input resistor. This is for that the grid of the tube isn't uh, floating. So this resistor must have a value of about 100k. This is also the impedance of the input and with this resistor you can calculate um, this capacitor. This resistor here must take a voltage drop of about uh, the half of the operating voltage. If the operating voltage is 10 volt in my case, uh, so this resistor must take a voltage drop of about 4.5 volts, not exactly 10 volts. Um, this resistor here uh, must take a lower voltage drop than this and uh, the rest of the voltage must be here so um, that we can have here 4.5 volts and 4.5 volts that we have a symmetrical uh, output here. And this capacitor is for decoupling, as I've said it before, this is for decoupling the DC offset. And um, this capacitor is really important that the amplification goes to the maximum, because the amplification is calculated by the output voltage divided by input voltage. And the input vo voltage uh, drops here and the output voltage here. So we are shorting out this resistor for getting the maximum amplification. It is really similar than a junction fed. Uh, audio amplifier. So okay, now let's try the circuit. Um, I've built the circuit here. Here I have the circuit and here I have my connected tube. Um, and now let's power it uh, up. Uh, I switch on the heating voltage and the anode voltage. Okay, now you can see uh, my power supply is of um, uh, is on about 10 volts you can see 9.96 volts and now let's uh, check at first the DC offsets with my multimeter um, now this here is the upper resistor which has uh, about 5 volts this was um, uh, this resistor here now I'm as measuring the point from here to there At this point, um, th this is from here to here, here, yes, on this point we have also 4.8 volts, so the operation point is okay. Uh, the good thing on this uh, schematic is, uh, on this circuit is, that it don't need a really high anode power, for example, it don't need a anode voltage of uh, 200 volts. You just can use 10 volts, which is not really dangerous and really easy to supply. Okay, uh, now let's take a short look to the to my oscilloscope. So now um, I switch on the function generator. Uh, the function generator is connected uh, to the input uh, here is the function generator connected on the first channel um, of my scope and on the input and the second channel of my scope is connected to the output here so okay 
Uh, now I switch on the function generator and here you can see the signal. On the first channel here you can see the input signal which is here. Uh, I have selected the voltage to the same so you can see it has a high amplification or a high NAS amplification and uh, you also can see if I zoom in here a bit the phase shift of 180 degrees. So uh, with this circuit you have a phase shift of one. Uh, 180 degrees. Um, yes, you must think of that. Okay, now you here can see uh, the amplification. And now let's see what happens when I turn off the node voltage. When I turn off the node voltage, it's uh, here, so okay. Now the output drops absolutely down, um, down to uh, 50 millivolts, here you can see, and it is really noisy. Okay. Good, now switch it on again, here, and now I switch uh, off the heater voltage. Now it, co it cools down, this is really slow, but you can see here it goes down. After it, and now, uh, yes, it disappears completely. So you can see the heating of the tube is really important. So now I turn uh, the heater back on. To the signal quality I have to say that uh, it is uh, not really destroyed. It is a really um, good quality. Now I am overdriving the signal that you can look uh, how it looks like when the signal is overdriven. This is how it looks like when the signal is overdriven. Yes. Okay. But the amplifier works uh, pretty fine and yes. Okay, that's it for uh, my amplifier circuit. It works really good. If you want to try this uh, circuit at home, uh, you just need a tube, a triode tube, and you can get it really easily on eBay. That's it for my video, and yes, I can say thanks for watching.